It's an imposing fish, sure to inspire awe in those who see it. At a time when other large fish are rapidly disappearing from the world's oceans, this giant is making a comeback in Florida. It's a unique feeling to be able to get close to a marine animal that's as big as you. This is the Goliath grouper, a fish once almost hunted to extinction. It's like going to a park where you never saw a bear for years and years, and now you see a dozen you know, big grizzly bears. I mean, it's an impressive thing to see. But the Goliath's return is not a welcome sight to all. Both spear fishermen and rod and reel fishermen believe the Goliath grouper is eating everything on the reef and is destroying the ecosystem. But what does the scientific data show? Are Goliaths really overpopulating the reef, or is this species just now beginning to recover? They are an impressive sight, the largest fish on the reef. They can weigh up to a thousand pounds and exceed seven feet in length. Goliath grouper, which used to be known as dewfish, historically were found from as far north as the Carolinas, across the Caribbean, and south to Brazil. The fish can also be found off the west coast of Africa, and a distinct subspecies exists in the Pacific. Today, they are considered critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Everywhere except the southeastern United States, they are indeed critically endangered. Of course, they're protected throughout all U.S. possessions, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, as well as southeastern United States. They were on the threatened species list, but they've been since taken off that list because their population in the southeastern United States is on the road to recovery. Goliaths are a shallow water species, rarely found at depths below 200 feet. They need water temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit to survive, which limits their range. And for the most part, they are curious but shy creatures. They often retreat to their favorite hideout when humans approach. These are animals that don't move much. They sit, they love wrecks, they love caves, they love any kind of structure that typically has a, an overhead for them. It, it gives them a sense of security, I suppose. Basically, I kind of joke about calling them the couch potatoes of the grouper family. They don't even eat every day. Aside from their tremendous size, Divers and fishermen can easily distinguish goliaths from other grouper species by the brown stripes along the sides of their body and their distinctive rounded tail fin. 